If you've ever wondered why the same Toyota, Honda, Mazda, or Subaru engine uses 0W16 or 0W20 oil in the US, but 5W30, 10W30, or even 0W40 in Japan, Australia, or Europe, this video is going to blow your mind. Because here's the uncomfortable truth the industry almost never explains publicly. Oil grades are not chosen based on what's best for your engine. They're chosen based on government rules, US-specific fuel economy targets, climate assumptions, and emissions regulations. That means millions of American drivers are unknowingly using an oil grade that the engine wasn't originally built for, causing faster wear, higher oil consumption, noisy lifters, weak film strength, and premature timing chain stretch. All because the US demanded thinner oils, even in engines that were never designed to run them long term. Stay with me because by the end of this video you'll know exactly why Japan recommends thicker oil, why the US mandates thinner oil, which grade is actually better for engine life, and why using the wrong one can shorten engine lifespan by 50,000 to 150,000 miles. And trust me, the number one reason will make you look at oil choices completely differently. The shocking truth. It's not about the engine. It's about US fuel laws. Let's start with the part no manufacturer wants to say publicly. American fuel economy regulations, not engineering, are the number one reason US engines use 0W16 and 0W20. Japanese automakers must meet US CAFE standards, corporate average fuel economy. These rules force manufacturers to squeeze every last drop of fuel economy out of an engine. One of the easiest ways to do that? Use a thinner oil. Thinner oil equals less internal resistance. Less resistance equals slightly better MPG. Better MPG equals automaker avoids government fines. We're talking about a difference of maybe 0.3 to 0.8 miles per gallon. But it's enough for automakers to abandon the oil grade that protects your engine best and switch to an oil grade that protects their wallet best. Meanwhile, in Japan, in Europe, in Australia, they don't have the same fuel economy requirements. So the same engine, the same blueprint, same block, same crank, same oil pump uses thicker oil overseas. Example, Toyota 2.5 liter A25A engine, US manual 0W-16, Japan manual 5W30 0W20, Honda K20 C2 slash K24W engines, US 0W20, Europe slash Japan 5W-30. Mazda Skyactiv G engines, US 0W20, Australia slash Japan, 5W-30, 0W-30, Subaru FA slash FB engines, US 0W20, Japan, 5W30. It's the same engine, just different oil, because different countries prioritize different things. Why Japan and Europe don't trust thin oil. Here's where things get interesting. Japanese and European mechanics prefer thicker oils for two reasons. One, engines last longer with better film strength. Thicker oils maintain stronger high temperature protection, better boundary lubrication, less timing chain wear, less blow-by contamination, less oil consumption. In high mileage engines, thinner oils, 0W16-20, often lead to oil burning. VVT wear, noisy lifters, Timing chain stretching, higher engine temperatures, turbo coking for turbo models. Two, their fuel economy tests don't punish manufacturers for using safer oils. Japan and Europe test MPG differently. They're more realistic and don't push automakers to use dangerously thin oils. That's why a European Toyota Corolla often hits 200,000 plus miles with minimal oil burn. And the same US Corolla starts consuming a quart every 1,000 to 2,000 miles after 100,000. The engine designs are the same. The oil grades are not. Oil thinning wasn't engineering. It was a business decision. Let me show you how deep this goes. Before 2010, Japanese engines commonly ran 5W30, 10W-30. After US CAFE rules tightened, they immediately switched to 0W20. Then when CAFE tightened again, Toyota introduced 0W16. Honda adopted 0W16 for hybrids. Nissan recommended 0W16 on small engines. 
But here's the twist. In the Japanese market, Toyota still approves 5W30 and 0W30 for the same engines that require 0W16 in the US. Why? Because in Japan, they want the engine to last decades. They don't care about squeezing out that last 0.4 miles per gallon. The US does. The real engineering truth. Clearances didn't change as much as you think. Automakers often claim, engines are designed with tighter tolerances now. Yes and no. Here's what's actually true. Myth. Engines were redesigned for 0W16. Truth. Clearances changed very little. The oil requirement changed a lot. Real-world teardown measurements from Toyota, Honda, and Subaru engines show. Rod bearing clearances remain almost unchanged. Main bearing clearances remain unchanged. Piston to wall clearances unchanged. Oil pump output nearly identical. In other words, engines were not redesigned for thin oil. Thin oil was chosen for emissions compliance, not engine longevity. Manufacturers simply adjusted ECU calibration. Oil pump bypass behavior, oil control ring tension. But the core mechanical tolerances? They're nearly the same as the engines that ran 5W30 for decades. The biggest consequence, US engines wear out faster. Mechanics across the US report a pattern after 80,000 to 140,000 miles. Timing chains stretch. Oil control rings clog. Blow-by increases, oil consumption skyrockets. VVT system becomes noisy. Turbos coke up on turbo models. This happens mostly in US market cars and much less in the same engines overseas. The reason? Thin oil struggles at high heat, highway speeds, long drain intervals, summer climates, short trip driving, GDI fuel dilution, turbo temperatures, especially 0W-16, which has extremely low high temperature film strength. Meanwhile in Japan, the same engine lasts longer because it runs 5W30, 0W30, 5W40 for performance oak turbo models. And drivers change oil sooner, not every 10,000 miles. The secret every mechanic knows. Thicker oil stops 80% of common wear issues. Even US mechanics quietly admit. Switching from 0W20 to 5W30 often reduces oil burning and engine noise instantly. Timing chain stretch slows dramatically with 5W30. Turbos run cooler and cleaner with 5W40. GDI engines hate thin oil. They love thicker synthetic. But they don't say it publicly because dealerships must follow the owner's manual, even if the manual was written for CAFE compliance, not engine longevity. The three engine conditions where you must switch to a thicker oil. Even if your US owner's manual says 0W16 or 0W20, there are three situations where Japanese mechanics and even some Toyota Honda insiders strongly recommend upgrading viscosity. And ignoring these three conditions is the main reason American engines wear out early. Condition number one, high mileage, over 80,000 miles. As engines age, tolerances widen slightly. Rings lose tension. Oil control rings get carbon buildup. Valve guides wear. Timing chains elongate. GDI fuel dilution increases. All of these make thin oil far less effective. Japan recommendation of four engines over 80,000 miles. Japanese service manuals commonly allow 5W30 or 0W30. Even on engines originally spec'd for 0W16 or 0W20, US manuals, they almost never mention this because it affects CAFE fuel averages. Real world mechanic feedback oil burn often drops by 50 to 70% after switching to 5W30. Timing chain noise reduces instantly. Hot idle oil pressure increases. VVT response improves. Condition number two, hot climate above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 degrees Celsius. Here's what automakers don't tell you. 0W16 and 0W20 were optimized for cold US fuel economy testing, not for real summer temperatures in places like Texas, Florida, Arizona, Nevada, Southern California, Midwest summers. In Japan's official oil charts, temperatures above 90 degrees Fahrenheit often recommend 5W30, 10W-30, even 5W40 for continuous high-load driving. But the US chart? 
it often lists zero W20 only, regardless of temperature. And that's not engineering, that's regulations. Condition number three, turbocharged or GDI engines. Turbo engines reach 450 degrees Fahrenheit internal turbo temps, 250,000 RPM shaft speeds, extremely thin oil films, rapid shearing forces. GDI engines suffer from fuel dilution, which thins oil even further. So why does the US recommend 0W20 on some turbo engines? One reason, to boost EPA fuel economy numbers. But overseas, the same engine typically uses 0W30, 5W30, 5W40 for hotter climates or spirited driving. And mechanics see dramatically fewer turbo failures overseas. Which oil grade actually gives the longest engine life? Across hundreds of mechanic interviews, teardown inspections, oil analysis reviews, and manufacturer technical sheets, a pattern emerges. Here's the real answer. Best overall longevity. All climates. 5W30. Full synthetic. Best for hot climates or highway driving. 5W40. Full synthetic. Best for new engines and cold climates. 0W20. First 40 to 50,000 miles. Worst for long-term longevity. 0W16. 0W-8. These ultra-thin oils serve one purpose. Boost fuel economy numbers for government testing, not engine protection. Is it safe to switch from 0W20 to 5W30? Short answer, yes, completely safe. Because the same engines overseas use 5W30. Japanese manuals allow it. Engine tolerances support it. It increases film strength. It provides better protection at high temperatures. It reduces oil consumption. It improves hot idle oil pressure. If anything, switching to 5W30 is closer to what the engine was originally designed for. What Toyota and Honda engineers privately recommend. This is the part they won't put in writing, but based on internal technical sheets, engineer interviews, Japanese language service bulletins, overseas dealer training material, the quiet recommendation for engine longevity, not EPA fuel targets, is a 0W20 for the first 20,000 miles. Then switch to 5W30 for all driving except extreme cold. And for hot climates, heavy driving, or high mileage, 5W40 for maximum film stability and lowest engine wear. You will never see this printed in a US manual, but it's standard practice overseas. The number one question drivers ask, will thicker oil damage my engine? Number, here's why. Your oil pump is pressure regulated. Your engine clearances can easily handle 30 weight oil. 5W30 flows just as well as 0W20 in real world temperatures. Automakers themselves recommend 5W30 in other markets. The only risk is you may lose 0.2 to 0.8 miles per gallon. That tiny fuel reduction is why the US forces automakers to use thinner oil. The big conclusion, different oil grades equals different priorities. US priority, maximize MPG, reduce emissions, meet government rules, Japan slash Europe priority, maximize engine longevity, protect against heat, support long-term reliability. The engine didn't change, the oil recommendation did, and the drivers paying the price? American owners who unknowingly use an oil grade that prioritizes government requirements over engine protection. What should you do? Mechanic approved recommendations. If you want maximum engine life for engines under 50,000 miles, 0W20 or 5W30. For engines 50,000 to 120,000 miles, 5W30 only. For engines above 120,000 miles or hot climates, 5W40. For turbocharged engines, 0W30 or 5W40. For high performance, towing, or mountain driving, 5W40. These are globally accepted oil grades used in the exact same engines outside the US. Final takeaway. The US didn't change the engines. It changed the oil to meet fuel economy laws. Japan didn't change the engines. It changed the oil to make them last longer. So the real question is, do you want slightly better fuel economy? or dramatically better engine life? Comment below. What oil grade are you using right now? And what engine do you have?